Hello everyone, today I'll show you how you can edit skeletal meshes directly into Unreal Engine. So if you don't have any other software or you just want to do the job faster directly in Engine, I'll show you how you can do that. So let's show you an example why you would need this. So if you follow the last tutorial and you did this change camera smoothly transition. You can see that if you move the camera too far back inside the head, you can start seeing the part of the nose, mouth and eyes of the character. So let's say that you want to change the mesh of your character to the one that doesn't have a head. So it's a first person mesh. Like in the first person example level that comes with the engine, you only have the hands right there. But let's say now we'll just remove the head. So it just doesn't interfere with the camera. They have introduced in, inside the engine this modeling mode, but it doesn't allow you to edit skeletal meshes. So you need to load another plugin, go into the edit menu, plugins, and then if you start typing skeletal, this skeletal mesh editing tools will show up. It's still in experimental phase, so it can have some bugs, but it works fine for our purposes. So check this checkbox and then you'll need to restart your engine. And after you restart your engine, if you go inside any skeletal mesh, you have this panel on the left that will allow you to do some editing of the skeletal mesh directly in engine. So let's duplicate this mesh that we are using for our character. And I'll call it SK for skeletal mesh rider and FP for first person. So what I want to do is to remove the head of this mesh. So if I open the skeletal mesh that we just created. If I go to the model section, then to the poly cut, and by default, I believe it's set up like this. So I recommend you to go check the trim inside option and use the square instead of the circle that comes by default. It's a little bit simpler. And then with the W and E keys, with the W you can move this square that will project onto the character and remove everything that's inside. And with the E key you can rotate it. And you will start to see how this works. So you rotate this plane with this square on it. And when, where it intersects with your object, it will delete everything inside. So let's say I want my character mesh to look like this. I'll remove the head so it doesn't interfere with the camera setup for the first person view. And I'll leave everything else. So if you look down, you can see your body, legs, arms, everything. So let's accept this and this will edit the mesh directly in engine. So you don't have to do in any other software like Blender, for example. This is much more easy and fast. And let's now try to use this new mesh. So in the example I showed you where we transition the camera into the first person view. After we finish the transition, let's control drag this mesh component and let's change the skeletal mesh. So set skeletal mesh asset and let's this set this asset to the rider first person, this mesh. And after you go to the third person view, Let's set this mesh asset to the rider combined. So I 
intentionally. I'm not doing it like it should be finally done right now to show you the problems, but this is the most basic setup. So after you finish the camera transition, you change it to the first person view. And after you finish the camera transition to the third person, you change the mesh to the original one. So let's see right now how it's working. So if I go inside the game, if I click the C key to change the camera, you can see that at first I can see the nose and the lips of the character and the inside of the eyes. But when I change the mesh after the transition, everything is fine. I don't see anything in front of my camera. And you can probably tell by the shadow that my character doesn't have a head. So if I change the camera back, you can see that there is a time period before the change is complete that I can see the inside of the character's face. So let's fix that by going inside the character here. And let's move this where we are transitioning the camera. So let's do a branch node here. And if our transition is, let's say, more than 0.2, so we are transitioning between 0 and 0.1. So if we are 20% into the transition, because if we change it too early, we will see the head disappearing before the camera goes into the first person view. So if we are 20% into the transition, we will change the mesh. And because this will repeat a lot of times, let's make a do once note. So we are only changing it once. And for the second time that we change the camera, we need to reset this. So after we finish the transition, we call this reset camera transition event. So here it is. Let's instead of just resetting the camera transition key binding, let's do a sequence note. Let's first reset the camera transition like we had it before. And let's then reset this swap of the mesh. Where is it? Okay, here. Here. So I have it connected for the third person change. The third person change was fine. So actually I need this to be on top. So let's cut this and put it here into the first person change instead. So we are changing the first person mesh here. So we have the transition over 0.2, then we have a do once, which we are resetting after our camera change is complete, and we are setting the mesh to the first person view. And for the third person, we can leave it like it was before because it was working fine, I believe. Let's compile and save and test this. So let's hit the play button. I click the C key. And you can see that the head is disappearing without showing the inside of the eyes and lips and nose like it was before. Now, we the only problem we have is that if we look at the shadow, the head is appearing and disappearing in the shadow. So let's go back inside our character. Let's add another skeletal mesh here inside the capsule component. Let's call it shadow mesh. 
and our shadow mesh will be the original mesh that we had. Remove the visible. Let's now search for a shadow. This will cast shadow and let's check the hidden shadow. So when this object is hidden, so our visible is false, it will still cast shadow. Let's go back into our original mesh and let's remove the cast shadow. So now we are not casting shadow from this mesh component, but from this shadow mesh, which is not visible at all. Let's try this. It is working, but the shadow is not animated and the position is wrong. So let me go back. Let's go back to the viewport. Let's select this shadow mesh. It should have the same position as our original mesh, so minus 90 and 270. So minus 90 for the z-axis position and 270 for the rotation. And we need to choose the animation blueprint. It should be the same like here, so rider. Compile and save. And now if I go back into the game, I have the shadow with the head, of course. And now if I change the camera, I still have the full shadow. There is no longer this problem and I don't get this inside of the head problems anymore. I can see my body. I can see the third person. So everything works fine. Hope you like it. I'm working currently on a system where the character is falling and then he can recover from different positions. So if he falls front, it he will get up from the front. If he falls back, he will get up from the back. Let me try to make him fall back. So if you'd like to see that in a tutorial, please write in the comments. I still have some fixes to do as you can see, but please let me know. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye guys.